Hey there, my friend, welcome back. This is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi, founder here at the Fit Father Project. In today's special video, we're gonna be talking about cryotherapy for weight loss and the other health benefits of specifically using cold and cold temperatures on your body and in local areas to improve weight loss, fat loss, and other health benefits. We're gonna dive into some of the new groundbreaking research so you know practically what works What's the deal with icing? What's the deal with those cryotherapy cold tubs you hear the athletes go into? We're gonna cover all that in this video. You're gonna learn a ton, so get out your pen and paper. Let's take some notes and let's dive on in. Fitfatherproject.com All right, so I've been interested in cryotherapy for a long time, especially when I saw some headlines in some of the medical journals that says you can freeze away your fat or that cold boosts your metabolism and burns fat. So I really dug into the research to see, practically speaking, for busy guys like you and me, what can we learn about how cold affects our bodies? Well, first off, we've all been you know, kids outside playing in the snow, and we had this shivering response, right? Where it's just freezing outside, and our body shivers. Well, what is shivering? After we get exposed to cold, shivering is our body's way of contracting our muscles to increase our core temperature. Because ultimately, one of our body's main goals is to maintain this core temperature because all of our enzymes and organs need to work in this very tightly maintained core temperature. And if it deviates, if we get too cold, we shiver to warm up. And what shivering does is activates our muscles and actually does help burn calories. That's the shivering response. But what's more interesting than the calories you burn while you're shivering is that exposure to cold actually changes some of your body's genes that increases your metabolism over the long haul. So we're all very familiar with the idea of fat, right? We can pinch it some places around our belly or our arms or our pecs and you know that's what we think of as fat. And that's really a type of fat called white fat. And that's the type of fat that primarily works as an organ that stores calories. So when we have too many calories that we've eaten, our body stores them in fat so we can pull them out later. Well, it turns out there's a totally different kind of fat. It's actually called brown fat. And brown fat's goal is to actually increase our metabolic rate and burn calories. So we have white fat and brown fat. It's kind of like the Jedi versus the Sith, except in this case, the brown fat is the good guy in that it's the metabolically active fat. And what research shows is that people who are leaner typically have more brown fat. They have more of this metabolically active calorie burning fat. And people who are more obese have more white and storage fat. And it turns out that cold exposure specifically can help convert white fat into brown fat. And that's an amazing thing because the more white fat we can have into brown fat, we have more metab metabolically active fat. And babies have lots of brown fat naturally because it maintains their core temperature, but as we age, brown fat typically decreases. So a cold exposure, and we're gonna get into practically speaking what this means, can increase brown fat. Um, but also exercise can increase this conversion of, of white fat into this beige or brown fat. So that's another huge benefit of exercising and gives you more of this brown fat. So let's look at cold in general. Again, we talked about the shivering response, we talked about getting more uh, brown fat, but how do we define cold? And I like to break this up into there is um, whole body general cold, and there's local cold. So if you sprain your ankle, that's a version of local cold when you put an ice pack on your ankle to reduce the swelling. And what local cold does is just takes that specific area, puts ice or something really cold, and what cold will do is reduce inflammation, shut off blood flow to that area, calm everything down. And that is very different than whole body cold, where it's like cryotherapy, where you go into one of these chambers where you're getting um, frozen nitrogen, you basically blast it at you at, at very cold temperatures, or you're getting into an ice bath. That's a whole body cold. It's a different effect than the local cold. So local cold decreases inflammation. The whole body cold creates that shivering metabolic response. So they're used for different things. You know, there's still the, when you get an injury, this ri RICE acronym, rest, ice, compression, elevation, you know, still stands, although there is some research that icing itself um, for too long can be detrimental to healing, but for the weight loss perspective, you know, icing your belly, my point of saying this is not going to get the fat to go away, but increasing the whole cold uh, exposure to your whole body is going to help. And what the research shows is that people who work or sleep in cold rooms, and the studies define cold rooms as somewhere around 66 degrees Fahrenheit, but somewhere around 60 to, to high, 60 to let's say 66 degrees, in these cold rooms, it actually increases metabolism and you're burning an extra couple hundred calories per day, which might not seem like a lot, but over the course of a week or a month, that could be the difference in losing multiple pounds of fat. So it is a big effect. So we do know that it's a good idea 
idea to sleep in a colder room. It's good for our bodies. It helps us sleep better because heat for our bodies is indicative of metabolic activity. When we're active, our core temperature rises. So at night, we want to go down and relax our core temperature. But cold specifically does boost your metabolism. Now, I want to get into uh, actually some of these ice baths because this is something that a lot of athletes do when you hear about these cold ice recovery baths. Well, it turns out that it's actually not a great idea um, after exercise because after we exercise and you're doing any of your good Fit Father Project workouts, we want this mild um, inflammation response where your body has a stimulus to go heal. Exercise creates inflammation, it creates some free radicals, and those are signals for our bodies to actually adapt and improve. And what happens is we talk about icing, like those polar plunges or putting ice on a sprained ankle, it decreases all the inflammation. So what the studies show is that icing after your workouts for just general recovery purposes actually decreases your gains and your improvements from exercise. It actually negates some of the gains. So that's not good. We don't want to go into polar temperatures post-exercise. So it's not good to get cryotherapy after exercise. It's not good to do whole body ice plunges after your workouts. These things can be good in the short term, like you just ran a marathon, you don't care about the benefit that the marathon itself gave you on your training, but you want to decrease inflammation, sure, get into a cold plunge. But um, doing this after your training all the time is bad from the research and it will impair your exercise results. But being in a modestly cold room, like sleeping in a cold room or cranking the AC up um, or taking a cold shower in the morning for a few minutes can stimulate your body's um, cold thermogenesis response where you're uh, improving the amount of brown fat, you're getting the shiver and your body's starting to burn more calories from this cold response. So that is the real um, key point here, is that cold exposure works for metabolism, but it can't be too cold and it can't be post-workout. And it's different to get this whole cold exposure at like 60 degrees Fahrenheit versus going into a polar ice plunge, which has a different effect. I mean, that really decreases inflammation. Um, although these cold temperatures have been shown that they can increase your uh, immune health and can increase your adrenaline and other energizing hormones in your body. Now, there is another class of uh, cryotherapy that is really freezing away fat cells itself. So this is called cool sculpting. And this is where people actually use cold itself to blow up fat cells, to cause these fat cells to freeze away essentially. Um, and it does work. Um, and it's, it's, it can be somewhat painful and it's quite expensive. So to get a whole area of your body um, cool sculpted where they're using cold um, and they're blowing up these fat cells um, can cost up to $4,000 for this whole area. So it's not cheap. Um, and I, I, I firmly believe um, from all the results we have with all the guys on our Fit Follower program, programs that diet, sleep, and exercise is the foundation. We don't start with cool sculpting. Um, but it is something I want to throw on the table when discussing cryotherapy because it is technically a cryotherapy. It's using cold that's so extreme that it actually blows up cells. Um, and they just so happen to be fat cells. So that does work. Very expensive. We prefer the permanent solutions like the diet, um, exercise, nutrition. Permanent in the sense that you're building the habits that are going to help you keep the weight off. Not just blowing up your fat cells for $4,000 and you're gonna you know, go eat like crap and gain it back, right? So this is cold um, in a nutshell, and I wanna kind of um, open a loop here for a future video where we wanna talk about hot, because as much as cold has profound effects on helping increase your metabolism and our immune system, hot has um, different but very powerful health effects. Using sauna is probably one of the most research proven ways to increase the genes associated with longevity and to help your body sweat and get rid of some metabolic toxins. Saunas are incredibly beneficial. So we have a whole nother video to talk about sauna, but point being, your body, whenever we put some kind of new stress on your body, you're normally here. This is cold, this is hot. When you deviate your physiology out of that normal range that it likes to be in, it leads to a response. In the case of cold, it can increase your metabolic rate. In the case of hot, it increases longevity genes, some of this detox stuff. So it's good to move your body out of its comfort zone because this pressure um, for our bodies to adapt is what ultimately led up to our survival as a human species. So if we continue to challenge our body in a good way, we're gonna get health benefits. So Overall, here's what I recommend. If you're a person watching this and you want to start incorporating cold into your routine, do what I do. Take a cold shower in the morning. Very invigorating. No, it's not going to help you lose fat, but it will increase your energy um, and it will you know, really get you alert and energized in the morning. Um, and then sleep in a colder room at night or crank up the AC in your office if you can um, because that is a prolonged cold effect where you're just in a cool room and that will, over time, increase your cold thermogenesis, this increase in your metabolic rate due to cold, and then get into a sauna as often as you can. It's amazing for your health. So um, I hope this helped and do know that some of this uh, cryotherapy stuff is 
you know, more of like the icing on the cake to what's actually important. What's actually important is the sleep, diet, exercise, accountability, motivation, supplementation, the core foundations, and I'd love to help you with that. We have our FitVolor 30X program, our famous program, which is the world's first and only sustainable fat loss program for busy fathers over 40. Thousands of guys are using this program right now. The results are absolutely amazing. You can see them here for yourself, and I want you to join us, get this foundational stuff handled, and then we can incorporate cryotherapy and stuff into your routine as well. It's certainly interesting to talk about, but it's not the fundamentals that actually drives the crazy results that you see. So I hope you join us inside $50.30x and you can hear some stories from some of the guys on our program and how excited they are about their new bodies, their energy, and all the benefits of this program. Hope to have you with us. Um, I'll see you in the program, my friend, and I'll talk to you very soon.